Hi, Phil Lindsay here with Peep Magazine, and we're here with Martin Ward, who's fighting for the British title next Friday on the 20th of November, fighting Jazza Dickens. It's getting close. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel fantastic. Uh, I mean, everything's going well, sparring, diet, and everything. Everything's fine on online, and uh, like I said to you earlier on, uh, Jazza Dickens got the form at 120% to win this fight, and uh, it's not possible, I don't think. Well, the, you've got similar backgrounds. I think he, he's won all but one fight. He got beat off Kid Galahad or Barry Howard, whatever he's called. Um, you've got, obviously, the, the terrible situation with, with Stu Hall. Um, it couldn't have went any worse. If you, if you got knocked out first round, you, you could say, well, I got knocked out, but that was like having it ripped away from you through no fault, you know? I mean, that's a fight I, I, I don't really uh, class. I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't say I fought for the world title. I say I participated in the yeah. world title, title contest because I didn't fight. It wasn't a fight. Yeah, I was a little bit unlucky there. I mean, I got beat off Lee Haskins uh, for the British title at Bantamweight. Uh, he got beat off uh, Kid Galahad for the Super Bantamweight British title. And, uh, I mean, I, I think we're both evenly matched. And, uh, um, listen, the North East fans are in for a hell of a fight, a hell of a treat. And... Uh, if they get behind me, which I know they will, the Rainton lads have all, they'll all turn out and they're uh, big supporters and uh, they'll, they'll get the money's worth and, I, and I'll bring that title, I'll keep that title here in the North East. And it's gonna be, there's going to be some atmosphere as well, isn't there? Oh, I'm, I'm expecting, well, I, Phil and uh, as he's already said, it's a, it's a sellout and I'm expecting yeah, to be cram packed in here on the 20th and uh, with Buzz, I'll get walking to the ring with all my fans. I, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I mean, I can go out there and enjoy myself, I've got no pressure. Boxing pundits seem to think Jether Dickens is going to win and going to win easy. So that's, uh, that's easy for me to just let it, let it roll off. And yeah. I'll prove them all wrong. I love being, uh, I love being underdog. Well, it's, for me, it's one of those fights where you're quite similar in styles. You, you've, you've both got the in and out. You've, you've, you've good balance between the footwork and, and, the, and the movement. But also, you're both coming in to win. So if one guy starts to get on top, it's one of those fights where the other guy will do what he has to do to try and turn it round, whether it goes vice versa, so it's, it's going to be full of commitment as well as skill. So the Dickens has got the same style, similar style to me, but he hasn't got the engine or the heart I've got. And I will do whatever's in my power to, to try and win that title. I will we'll do whatever it takes. It doesn't make no difference to me. I will, I'll walk through walls if I have to. I'll do anything. I need to get that Alonso belt this time. I've, I've had a chance before and just came up short, so this time there's no stone on turn and I, I want to win it and I am. I'm, 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 I believe I'm going to win it. Now it's for the British title, the Lonsdale belt as you say, and it's no stepping stone, but it is also a fight that the winner is going to be cut up. In Europe, he's a European uh, number one contender, so if I beat him, I'll be number one contender in Europe and obviously win the European title, uh, gets you ranked the top ten in all organisations in the world, uh, governing bodies, that's where everybody wants to be, so it's a massive fight for both fighters and um, I mean... It's, it's a terrific uh, event that Phil's managed to get me home advantage, so I'm very grateful for that. And uh, but I, I'd fight James Dickens in a phone box. Wouldn't make a difference to me. That's champion. And preparation going ahead. If you couldn't have much better preparation than having sparring with your brother. Uh, I know. Yeah, I was in, uh, sparring with Tommy, but I also sparring with uh, Kid Galahad, the man who knocked out James Dickens. So uh, I mean, and he's uh, he said I'm a better version than James Dickens. So uh, if that's come off the man who's knocked him out, uh, that's a pretty good compliment to get. So. Yeah, we'll put it all in. Listen, everybody will find out on, on Friday the 20th, and uh, fingers crossed, a little bit of luck, Matt Ward will be a British champion. Well, let's hope for that little bit of luck, and uh, let's hope that Kid Galahad or Barry has got it on the button as well. But Martin Ward, if not before, I'll see you on fight no, night. Uh, all the best, man. Appreciate it. Cheers.